Kagai, right, okay, so you've been Go to on. most lubricants in Shrewsbury? I have, once or twice. You've seen how all is made? I have. Okay, well, we're now going to look at the distant future. Go on, okay. how's that look to you? So, technologies, okay, so it's all about how these technologies are going to evolve to uh, meet the demand on reducing emissions, okay, so Right. There's three factors, it doesn't matter what kind of approach you're looking at, there's three factors that have got to work. Firstly, is the technology's got to be in place for mm -hmm. vehicles. Secondly, the infrastructure's got to be in place. Yeah. Okay, because without the infrastructure, it doesn't matter if you've got the technology, you can't make it work. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, is the price parity. So the cost of these newer vehicles coming through cannot be a million miles away from the existing vehicles we True. have today. Otherwise, True. nobody will buy them. Of course, yeah. So those have all got to be tick boxes. They've all got to go green for anything to work going forward. So there's kind of three kind of avenues that we could possibly go down. So this is purely speculation like this, okay. But, um, so electric, obviously electrification, okay. I mean, there's no speculation. There will there'll be some form of electrification. Hydrogen internal combustion engine. Yeah. And fuel cell, okay. Yeah. So at the moment, those are the three kind of technologies that we can see are going to emerge in order to try and uh, achieve this re reduction in emissions um, and, and you know, obviously make the world a cleaner place. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one will win? We don't know. It could be a combination of all three. Um, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of um, development going into electrification of the of the of the heavy truck market at the moment. Okay, so we're seeing ideas put forward for the kind of the, the shorter distance work for the lighter trucks, the light to medium sort of size trucks. Mm -hmm for kind of hub to hub, hub to yeah, spoke yeah, kind yeah. of distribution. Yeah, a massive weight penalty to pay for that sort of. Well, this is it. So they can't go far anyway. Yeah. And obviously then you've got to charge them up again as well. Yeah. And, and the big benefit of that kind of setup also is the, uh, where you've got ultra low uh, emission zones, like London will become. You know, if you're mm -hmm. going to be traveling into cities where that is, a, uh, that is a restriction, then obviously BV trucks are going to be the best way forward. Of course, um, yep. Yeah. But then as you know, as you start to want to increase the range and the payload of that truck, the batteries have got to go up in size. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so your payload goes down. The payload goes down. So if you look at that, and of course there's a price disparity, as soon as you start putting, putting bigger and bigger batteries onto a truck, then price the, the, goes the price the roof. goes through yeah. the roof as well. It does, so, it does, it does. So this price parity point then comes into play. So. So it looks like we could see short to medium term the development not only of let's say these these battery electric vehicles um, for shorter work but also hybrids because obviously with a hybrid you can have a smaller battery on there so if you've got an internal combustion engine mm -hmm. and a battery that battery yeah. does not have to be as yeah, big yeah. as a battery electric vehicle so that be, that could be a, a middle ground which is more commercially viable in terms of the price parity so they're talking about you know the development. Certainly, a lot of a lot of truck manufacturers are looking at the hybrid as being something that sits between that shorter haul kind of workload and and the longer haul kind of workload. So that could well work. Some of the best no, inventions you, you are completely you accidental. Don't, don't, aren't it could all just be a bowl of wheat bix at the end of the day, yeah, yeah. It? and we've been missing it all along. Oh yeah, it was just yeah, absolutely. Money. Yeah, we've been tripping over it without really seeing it. So I think it's. Hey, no, no, I'm fascinated by it all. But I'd like to think I can see past a lot of the. Mm. I'd like to think. There's yeah, a, yeah, there's a lot of greenwashing. There's a lot of greenwashing going on as well, which doesn't add up. It's only trees hugging. Yeah. I'm not against hugging trees, but I don't do it for a living. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's got to stand up. It's got to be sensible. Exactly. So yeah, so I think it's a case of wait and see, really, guy. But. Yeah, and as, as it evolves, of course, we've got to be ready to go with it, you know, I mean... Well, it, if, if there's electricity you know. in some form or yeah, other, yeah. right? So, yes, if we're currently running hybrid trucks, battery trucks for short runs, and then technology's there, well, then great, yeah, yeah. great, great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like we've got to be ready for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even, and, you know, Morris Lubricants, even in that field, you know, the, these battery packs have thermal management fluids that, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. need to be changed, you know? You're not going to be out of work anytime no. soon. e-transmission, you know, the new e-transmission systems, they need lubrication, so... We'll, we'll just we'll, we'll we'll change our focus as as these these technologies emerge. We'll evolve with the times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to keep the customer happy. And that's what so you do. Mate. That's what you do. That's what Morris do. That's what we have to do. We've been doing for the last 153 years. You're doing so all right. Yeah. You're still here, boy. So you're still here. You're doing something right. <laughs> you're doing something right. So whatever emerges, the hope is that we'll we'll, we'll be able to provide the necessary 
assistance to our customers to, you know, to, to integrate those new technologies into their fleets. So we'll see what the future brings. Oh, it'll be interesting. Yeah. It'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, do I? I'm looking forward to it. So if you want to see any more content like this or any more videos with Guy, then visit MySuperCunch website or our YouTube channel.